I'm going to cut Kirk Cousins some slack, which I very rarely do ever. Okay, okay. Talk to me. Talk to me. He's been erratic in September the last mm-hmm. couple of years, right? His passer rating, if you look into it, has gone up consistently between September up to October, October up to November. So whether it's a slow starter or where, whether he needs to work under pressure, he has shown that he gets better as the year goes on. For what that's worth, I don't know. Mm-hmm. But if you want to boil that down into actual real-life facts, last season, towards the end of September, he played Green Bay and Chicago, and he was shocking against them. The next mm-hmm. month of October, he went and won NFC Player of the Month. Correct. The year yes. before that, he threw three turnovers, had, had three turnovers against the Bills the last week of September. The next week, he went off 422 yards, three touchdowns against the Rams, who obviously went to the Super Bowl that year. So whether he just is this slow starter remains to be seen. The problem that we mentioned in our preview for the year is coming back to haunt them, that they used to have two number one wide receivers. Mm-hmm. They lost one in Stephon Diggs, and they just thought that their draft pick was going to be able to get it done for them. His name goes, goes beyond me right now. Uh, Justin Jefferson. Exactly. They mm-hmm. just thought that he was going to fill in the role of, or not even the role, but you know, that kind of threat of Stephon Diggs doesn't work like that. You can't just hope that it's going to automatically plug holes. Mm -hmm. So a lot of question marks. It's impossible to think that everything's going to suddenly go right for them and they're going to get out of this hole. You know, I am so glad you brought up the whole they're missing Stefan Diggs because I saw that was a major point of contention amongst the beat writers is that they were throwing around this idea on social media that maybe he just doesn't trust the other wide receivers outside of Thielen, that maybe that's the issue now that Diggs is gone. But to your point, you are correct in noting that, you know, he does have these early season slumps and then he kind of kicks it into high gear because those Vikings were white hot on offense from about October to November-ish of last season. So maybe it is just kind of an early season getting in the rhythm kind of thing. Maybe it is just that for Kirk Cousins. It's what you hope for. But this has not been good from any portion of this Vikings team. I literally can't point to a single thing that they've done right so far this season, Mark. 